everyone welcome back today I'm gonna to be doing something that I actually haven't done in quite a while this is my May favorites and I haven't done a monthly favorites video in a while because I was actually doing weekly sort of favorite videos I was doing favorites and follow-ups every Friday for quite a while I want to try doing monthly favorites again and if I can continue to do three videos a week which I'm hoping I can that third video will be some other sort of original content not just me following up on products so I'm gonna figure out a way that I can work in all the reviews that I want to do just not not with the uh, Friday follow-ups. So I'm going to talk about some products that I have been absolutely loving in the month of May. Cannot believe it's June already. I'm filming this on June 1st. I cannot believe it. So the first one I'm going to talk about is by Makeup Revolution and this is the Soap X Collaboration Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this for quite a while. I've been testing it out and I really am loving it. I think she did such a good job with the color. I love all of the matte neutrals, honestly, and I'm not someone to normally say that I love a ton of matte neutrals, but I feel like she just did a really good job of picking the matte neutrals that complement these colors to really kind of get any color you want to complement some of these more shimmery, colorful shades like the green and the purple. There's a light pink. There's a, this interesting duochrome isn't as pretty as I wish it was. There's some swatches of the shimmery shadows. This is that duochrome that I was talking about. It's not as shimmery, I guess. It's, it's almost like satin. But this palette has the perfect base shade for me, which is this one. It has the white and the black. I mean, this is literally an everything palette. Like, that's what this is. This is everything that I'm wearing on my eyes today, and I was trying to get more of a... Like, I was trying to get this purple shade to stand out more and blending it in with this duochrome here. They blended together really well, but I just... I found that I wasn't able to get, like, the detail and the pop that I was hoping for. This is almost going to be something that's more for the everyday, softer, neutral, not necessarily neutral neutral, but just more wearable everyday looks, rather than getting that super intense pigmentation that you would get out of, say, like a Juvia's Place palette. So the pigmentation is good, it's just not super intense, which makes sense for an everyday wearable palette. And if you're looking for something more artistic, you might not want to go for this one. I also noticed something when I was using this palette, and that it is very similar to another palette that I want to compare it to. This is the ColourPop Makeup Shayla palette. I mean, do you see the similarities? I see a lot of similarities in these palettes. They're not dupes. I don't think they one was trying to copy the other, but there are a lot of similar shades. That duochrome that's in this one is very similar in this one. There's the purple, there's the green. I mean, there's a lot of similarities. Just wanted to point that out. And this one is not a favorite. I haven't honestly had enough chance to test this one out this month, so I don't have my full thoughts on the Shayla palette or the Perception palette, but that will be coming soon. It's just I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I'm trying to work through. But I did want to mention that just because I did notice that similarities. So... Yeah, so I love this one. Huge mirror. Awesome mirror. Love the mirror. It's great. I do have the highlighter palette that goes with this collection. I don't love that one as much. I'm finding that harder for my skin tone. The shades don't work as well on my skin tone. They're very light. They're nice, but they're not... it's not a favorite, so I'm not talking about that, even though I just talked about it. I do want to talk about this highlighter palette from Flower Beauty. It's just the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. Highlighters are so smooth. I feel weird. I don't have my nails on again. I just really wanted to film this video, and I didn't want to risk the baby waking up. Anyways, so there's some swatches of them there. These are so beautiful. I'm gonna take this brush out. It comes with this brush, but I haven't really used it. So these are my two favorite shades right here, and I just, I feel like this one for sure is like my perfect gold highlighter for my skin tone, and then a lot of times I'll mix it in with the pink just to give it a little bit of different, sort of a different color. This one's a little light for me, but I could probably mix that in with the others as well. I just feel like the highlighters are so smooth. I don't know how to describe it. It's, I mean, it's what I'm wearing today, so hopefully you can see. And it's just a beautiful, like, I don't want to say metallic, because it's not that intense, but it's definitely like a beautiful glow, and I really like this one, especially this gold one here. So, so I am really enjoying this palette. Another eyeshadow palette I want to talk about, this is by Pure Cosmetics. This is their Visionary palette. I haven't heard anybody talking about this palette. Like, nobody. I've heard people talk about the one that came in, like, the Boxy Charm a month or two ago, but I haven't heard any mention of this one, and I love this palette. It is so beautiful. I love this color scheme. It definitely reminds me of the Backtalk palette, which I'm going to talk about in a second, but I, I feel like the color scheme is just really fun. The shimmers are amazing. Here are some swatches of the Visionary palette, so I hope you can see how amazing this is. And this is literally just one swipe of the finger, super intense pigment. The shimmers 
are just so, so beautiful, and the mattes are really nice and pigmented as well. I do like to foil the shimmers, so get my brush wet after I dip it in the powders, just to make the shimmers even more intense, but I don't feel like you have to. If you have a sticky base or sticky eyeshadow primer on, the shimmers don't have to be foiled. They are very intense and very beautiful. I really do love this palette. I love that the pans are removable. That's just something that I enjoy in any eyeshadow palette because I love single eyeshadows. So that's a plus for me. It's The packaging is really nice and slim. It comes with a nice mirror. I love this palette. I really do and I recommend it. So if you haven't heard about this, you're welcome. Okay, now I want to talk about the Urban Decay Back Talk palette. This one has the eyeshadows on this side and then it has face products on this side. The eyeshadows are very similar to the Pure Cosmetics palette. There you can see very similar tones, very similar palette. I love the Pure one so much more than I love the eyeshadows in this one. The only eyeshadows that I like in the Backtalk palette are the matte shades and I will swatch some of them here. So I'm going to swatch the two mattes, Backtalk and WTF and three sheets is a matte but I'm not going to swatch that one because I want to swatch shade and attitude of the shimmers just to show you. Okay, so there's swatches of the Back Talk palette. This is supposed to be a shimmer. It looks like a shimmer. It's the one called Shade in the palette, but it doesn't look shimmery at all. And on the eyes, it is even less pigmented. It's like nothing. And I had trouble. I tried foiling it. I tried spraying my brush and it just didn't work. Like it didn't show up at all. So that was really disappointing. The matte shades, like I said, are the best in this eyeshadow palette. I love the matte shades. They're beautiful. But the rest just isn't wowing me at all. However, the face products in this palette I am really, really loving. So that is how it got into my monthly favorites video because these face products are really, really nice. These two are blushes. They're called Cheap Shot and Double Take. And then Loki and Party Foul are highlighters. Loki's kind of more like a blush topper, but it actually really is a highlighter too. It's just, they're so pretty. Okay, let me swatch these. So there are the face products swatched on that side. And obviously you can use those as eyeshadows too, if you're using this palette as an eyeshadow palette. So that's always a plus, but I just think they're so pretty. I love the face products. I love the blushes. I could see myself traveling with this just for the face products because they're just really nice. And it's really not bad to travel with. It's pretty compact. This mirror is pretty stupid. It only goes in one way because if you put it in wrong and you try to close it, it won't stay closed. So you have to put it in just the right way. Nope, that's not it. God, there we go. Okay, so you have to put it in just the right way for it to like magnetize and stay closed, which is really frustrating. And then when you open it the wrong way, like that, the mirror falls out. So that's frustrating. The packaging, not the best thing they ever came up with, but um, I love the face products, so I really wanted to mention that. I wanted to talk about my favorite products from the new Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy collection. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do a video on that whole collection, just, I don't know, I just, I feel like I, the time has passed for that, but I do want to share with you my favorite products, and if you have any questions on any products or that you want to see in pictures or Instagram or anything, let me know. But the products that have really stood out to me from that collection are the Baked Blushes. These are two of them. There's actually three in the collection. I don't know why. Well, the other one's more of a highlighter on my skin tone, so that's probably why I didn't include this, but th that one's nice too. The two I have here are Dare to Soar and Don't Flutter Yourself. These are so beautiful, and what I really like about them is that not only are they super pigmented and they wear super nicely on the skin, but they are glowy. They're not so shimmery that it looks like a highlighter, but they're glowy and it gives your face this like just beautiful, healthy, natural looking glow right along with your blush, which is really nice. If maybe the Backtalk palette is out of your price range, these are definitely excellent blushes. And I also wanted to give a shout out to the eyeshadow quads that came in that collection. These are such good quality eyeshadows and they're such beautiful, perfect color selections for summer. This one is just so beautiful. What is this? This kind of reminds me of like the purple and the teal from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. They're super pigmented and if you foil your brush, you will get so much pigmentation out of them. I can get those artistic looks that I was talking about not being able to get with the Makeup Revolution palette. I can get those looks with it with these. They're really beautiful and they're really user-friendly. I really, really love these quads. I did post an Instagram post with up-close swatches of all of the products from this collection, so I can try to link that in the description box if you haven't seen that. But make sure you're following me on Instagram because I post a lot more like swatches and up-close shots of products on there. 
So here's a swatch of that teal and that purple from that one quad. So insanely beautiful. I do want to give a quick shout out to the lipstick I'm wearing today. This is from the ColourPop Makeup Shayla collection in Come On Sis. I'm not going to swatch it because I'm wearing it on my lips and I really, really love this. This is the most beautiful like nude. I'm wearing this a ton because it's beautiful and I do really like the ColourPop Luxe lipsticks. They are creamy and super pigmented and just really nice. So wanted to shout this one out. So Drunk Elephant recently sent over some of their products and I was blown away over the moon speechless to receive this package like I cannot tell you how excited I was so they sent me three products and I have been using these every single night for maybe like two weeks now I'm really enjoying these so what they sent me are three products that are designed to be used in conjunction with each other at night this is the proteiny polypeptide cream this visibly improves the skin's tone texture and firmness and it's like a moisturizer but you use it it's the first step in this three-step process. Concentration of signal peptides, growth factors, supportive amino acids, and pygmy water lily. This is really cool, and I do have an Instagram video coming of me using these products if it's not up already, but you just push down here, the product comes out, and you put it... I usually do one to two pumps of this for my whole face. I kind of like to drench my face in skincare, so sometimes I'll use more than it says to, but it says to just use one pump, and my gosh. It's just, it's amazing. It feels so nice. The next one is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This is a 12% AHA blend. This is a resurfacing gel, so it, ex it gently exfoliates the skin by lifting away the dead skin cells. It's supposed to help with the appearance of texture, uneven tone, fine lines, wrinkles, and pores for greater clarity and luminosity practically overnight. This is one that I use probably two pumps of and it does say that it can tingle when you first put it on and it definitely does. I definitely noticed that it, I wouldn't say stings, but it you can feel it on your skin doing stuff and it's more the first few days that I use it and then my skin gets used to it and it doesn't tingle as much and then when I if I skip a day or two then I'll notice the tingling again. But it's like I said, it's not painful and it, my skin doesn't get red or anything, I just can feel it. But I did read that it says that you may experience that, so that's normal. And this one you just twist up like that and pump it out and yes. I'm loving this one too. And the last one is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. And this says you can use on your face, neck, chest, hands, cuticles, backs of arms, feet, or any place needing increased hydration without any greasy residue. So this is the final step that I've been using at night. And, and it just feels like a facial oil, if I'm being honest. It doesn't feel like anything special, but I have been loving how my skin has been looking and I definitely feel like it's been improving. It's hard. Lately I've been feeling like my skin has really been just softer and almost like having a blurred effect, which is really nice. So this is rich in critical antioxidants and omega-6 and 9. It moisturizes while restoring a youthful glow. I will link all of these products in the description box if you want to check them out. This video is not sponsored, but they sent them to me. I was so, so thankful to receive them and I've been really, really loving them. And I do believe that this Proteiny Polypeptide Cream is a new product, so I wanted to kind of let you guys know about that as well. I have been absolutely adoring the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I ordered this during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale for half price and I also ordered the backlight priming filter. I've been focusing on one at a time so that I can really get my full thoughts and I really like this one. It comes with a pump. It feels like a skincare product. It smells like a skincare product. It feels so light and when you when you put it in your hand it looks like it's gonna have like a glow or something. It doesn't have a purple tint. It doesn't have a glow or anything that I noticed. Um, I do feel like it's a bit brightening but Mostly I just love the way that it feels on my skin. It feels nice, it feels almost cooling, and it soaks into the skin like a really light moisturizer. Like it's even thinner than like my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. It's a really thin consistency, but it feels so nice, and I'm really, really enjoying this one. So I'm so glad that I tried it. Okay, and then lastly, I wanted to talk about a foundation. This is by CoverGirl. This is their Matte Made Foundation. This foundation is so nice. CoverGirl sent me this for PR. They sent me all of their shades, 40 shade, 40 shades I think, 40 shades of their foundation. I've never received a package like that in my life, so I was so honored and so thrilled to receive that. The three shades that I have been kind of experimenting with are T15, T20, and T30. They have such a selection of shades from fair to dark, everything in between, 
warm tones, cool tones, everything you could think of. Okay, so the shade selection, A+. This foundation comes with a, plus, with a pump, which is also A+, and it actually locks, which I really like. So if you click it over here, it's locked and it can't be pumped, which is cool. And then you twist it and it unlocks. This is a matte made foundation. I don't know if I would have put the word matte in the title of this foundation. I'd be very interested if you've tried this, what your thoughts are, because I don't, I'm not saying it's not a matte foundation, but I don't feel like it's not what I think of as like a classic matte foundation. When I think of a matte foundation, I think of like the Fenty Beauty foundation or the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation, something that dries super matte and like is super full coverage. And this definitely is not full coverage. But I really love the coverage of it and I really really love the finish of it. Every time I put it on, for the first few minutes, and I get this with a lot of foundations, it looks almost oily, like it's settling and like it's not going to look good and I get concerned that it's not going to turn out well. But then after a few minutes, after I do, you know, my eyes or whatever and I come back to it, it's just dried and settled onto my skin so beautifully and it definitely, it's not a dewy finish, it definitely is like a matte finish. I mean it'll still transfer off if I touch my face but it has a matte sort of a look to it but it's a very natural matte look to it. It's almost like a no makeup matte look if that makes sense. I do prefer to set this with a little bit of powder, it doesn't need too much and then I go in with my other powder products, but I mean this foundation, every time I wear this, I'm blown away by the way my skin looks, especially like at the end of the day, you know, like we're talking like eight hours, whatever. I mean, I don't usually wear my foundation for like 12 or 15 hours. That's just not what I do. Every time I've worn this by the end of the day, my skin looks amazing and it just, the coverage is really, really good. Granted, it could be the Drunk Elephant skincare products that I'm using too that's helping my skin, but this foundation is so nice. It's so beautiful. I really do love it and I definitely recommend it. I'm so glad. Thank, huge thank you to CoverGirl for sending this to me because it was such an honor. Okay guys, that is everything I want to talk about this week. Thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you would give this a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And subscribe if you have not already. Thanks again for watching guys. I really appreciate you and I'll talk to you again very soon.